Yes, I love it. Um, I just started recording, so welcome to okay. Dungeons and Dragons. I, hey! <laughs> I started recording because last time we played, Kyle said all these nice things, and then he just complimented, he likes the honor stat. And I was like, oh, oh, the other recording was deleted, and I just started recording, so. <laughs> well, the insanity hey. is also very fun. I really enjoyed that. <laughs> yeah, Sandy is my favorite. Uh, like I said, I always forget about honors. So I need to make a note to remember. But um, yeah, um, how would you like apply that? Uh, which one? Oh, honor. The honor. Yeah. Yeah, like I was saying, basically when you're talking to the king, um, and or just like someone extremely fancy, you know, it's yeah. really rare. Like, it'd basically be like, if you're trying to charisma uh, the king, you'd use honor instead. Okay, I can see that. Uh, just a, by basically, like, I don't know, like, uh, having, like, some sort of, like, sway in, like, your conversation, you know? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, you start out with low honor, and basically the idea is you can gain honor, like, when you complete a big quest, like, for someone important you you'd mm -hmm. simply gain like one point of honor so if you did that twice you'd get like a bonus or whatever so cool could be good yeah well i mean let's use that or i mean i try to attempt it <laughs> yeah i actually have plans for that should happen should be addressed probably in the next session guests are going into iron haven but i didn't even tell you uh, tonight, I mean, you, you might have noticed, um, but we're going to play a solo session, the one shot. Yeah, uh, yeah, I that's what I you were saying, yeah. Okay, yeah. Cool. And um, so basically this one shot I was planning on, I was just editing it, you know, kind of getting familiar. It is Triticor, like I mentioned, I think, at the monastery. So it's before yep. the events of campaign one. Uh, the Aragold Farley on War. So, so is this at uh, my monastery that like I left to go on my quest? Yep. Okay, cool. I That's like that. Duty. So basically you're there and let's see here. Oh, I can't I can't like minimize my word document. It always it is glitching out. Let me just wait for my computer. Let me close some of my unneeded items here. Oh, you're so, fine. I have a problem of opening too many tabs on a, on a window. Let's see. So it's just taking forever to close. Okay, hopefully it'll work. Oh, you're fine. Uh, I might have to hurry and just do one. I, my oven's on, so. Yeah, go for it. I'll actually pause this recording. Yes, I just resumed this recording. Oh, are you outside? I have resumed this recording that we may unmute ourselves together. Uh, was I muted? Oh yeah, there you go. Okay, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, sorry, I, I resumed the recording a moment ago. Um, okay. Let's see. Um, yes. So basically, we're ready to begin. Um, so as you know, this little one shot will take place in the world of Far Leong, the last kingdom of man. Uh, you train Triticor in your monastery atop the mountains on the far side look down upon the great cities, castles, and farms spread out across all of Farleong proper. On a clear day, a distant misty river that flows past the known kingdom. Uh, Triticor does not know he's leaving yet. Uh, you do not have your staff or monk powers. Your level is going to be zero for this campaign's purposes. And one stat to note I didn't say yet is your HP will be 13, which is... Okay. Basically, uh, let me write down. Yeah. Uh, 
basically level one, but you don't have, you basically don't have to. Is that 13? Um, yes. Okay. All right. Got that written, written down. So basically you can't harness key yet. So you're level zero. That's what that means. So, um, <laughs> well, that sucks, but okay. <laughs> Yeah, that sucks for you, but it it'll be okay. Hopefully, you know you're not encouraged to fight anybody right now. So okay, there'll be a lot of role playing, a lot of adventuring uh, as a child in the uh, monastery. So okay, no, I'm so down with that. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, let's see here. So yes, you train with various masters, uh, and. You know the great master Lorien, the elder of the monastery, uh, but Tardon is your immediate master who has Lorien as his headmaster. Uh, about one day every week you are tasked to walk to collect food and water from the town of Goldstaff with another peer from the monastery, and likewise you otherwise read and train with the monks and learn spirituality and awareness. So some key important pieces, just that you're aware of. Our monastery is high in the Forgotten Mountains. Rare and blue crystals poke out of the gray and red cliff sides. Crystal lizards and massive birds and bonsai trees twist about on the misty mountainside. Uh, the curving deep red and purple lines of pagoda roofs and the balcony you currently rest on make up this monastery atop the mountain. Every other month, you worship for an entire day at the Mount of the Word, which is a long trek. There is a magnificent shrine to the first child of the Word, which was said to be a fae, or a fairy, a person so perfect they emanated like the sun. The fae grew to be an immensely peaceful and powerful being from whom everyone is directly descended. And it is said uh, this fae helped to destroy the king of evil, the dark lord of the last age who corrupted the land and tormented the people. It is also said the spirit of the Dark King was locked away by the magic of this fay, extinguishing its own existence. Uh, otherwise, you practice yoga, forms, and meditation in a designated, a designated pagoda across the rocky courtyard between the small buildings known as the First Word Monastery in Parleon. Uh, the smooth wooden floor, which you recognize every day with your bare feet. Uh, although recently, uh, you've begun sparring occasionally with some of the other children of your year. Most of the children are younger boys, all of skin and dark hair, like you. A couple uh, darker or lighter skinned, and one seemingly skinny young girl with pointy ears who is very quiet. Um, so... Yeah, there's about 10 kids in, in your year. And uh, you practice yoga and are currently instructed by your teacher, uh, just an elder monk, um, Ty. He's actually somewhat young for like a trainer, but he's a dignified as a young priest. So yeah, you are just doing yoga and uh, kind of practicing some forms with your peers. So what are you... Uh, doing in this situation so uh i actually want to approach the trainer right now uh i want to ask him what he's training us for okay they removed the 40 limit time limit on our meeting so they notified me of that sorry otherwise ty is like well nothing else besides that um just uh training you to become one with, you know, key and that you may master your, yourself and no true power through self-mastery, essentially. It's my goal. Uh, I just want to talk to the master, that's all. Yeah, yeah, Ty. Ty will say this to you. And uh, he's, he's just the young, somewhat young trainer uh, that you're with today. So yeah, he'll just say, yeah, just... Just to master yourself is the purpose of meditation and yoga. Okay. Uh, can I explore the monastery at all? Um, 
so you're supposed to uh, stay in the in the classroom with the classmates but i mean you can try to run out or whatever you know uh no i think i'll stay with the class actually okay. yeah <laughs> he's, <laughs> like, he's like good idea that's what ty says to you that's basically just your conversation i imagine you yeah just, you uh know. It's like great. Can take, I, your, take your seat back. Do, can I ask him like any more questions? I'm doing tree pose right now, but yes, I, I can answer any of your questions. Uh, so will I gain any more chi power if I continue with your class? Yes. Uh, over years of training, you shall eventually uh, master key, and maybe if you are quite strong, you'll learn faster. Uh, what do I have to do to become more stronger? Um, well, my child, I recommend you participate in my yoga and my meditation afterwards. Uh, you will eventually be trained by uh, other masters who will teach you and build upon these principles to train you in more powerful arts. Uh, I design. bow. I bow and give my salute yes, uh, I, I, as a, yeah i just wanted to make sure that oops <laughs> sorry <laughs> i was gonna mention if you can secure your camera better but. <laughs> uh dude it's in my hand <laughs> no worries okay cool uh that works um uh but yeah uh so yeah i bowed to him and I give my like greatest like gratitude. Also your framing, I was gonna mention right now, your framing is really nice. Your head's like near the top. Oh no, now it's bad. Oh, Before it was right. good. Right here? Even you had your head higher. Like, no, no, the opposite. Yeah, like, that's perfect. All right, cool. Artistically, <laughs> that's, that's the best. Anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, so you practice yoga. Uh, you know, all your peers are there doing forms with you. You, you basically master tree pose that day. And, uh, okay. you know, other days pass. Uh, you are aware of the three masters, uh, basically, of this monastery. That's Lorian the Old, which is the headmaster, in ancient gray. Uh, slow in motion and speaking. His lessons are always very kind, though. Tardon the Wise. Uh, he's got this long pointed nose and speaks from a place of like superiority. Uh, so Lee, the strong, is the third of the masters that you know. He's muscular, the youngest of the three uh, of the Farleon uh, temple. And basically he is actually the boulder from, uh, I'm Lee, the strong. I will train you in the way of <laughs> Ki. So if you know that character, uh, he's from yeah. something. So. Uh, yep, yeah, but today actually you have a sparring match uh, with the other monks of your age uh, and a couple other boys from an older class, Pon Pon and Kristan. And uh, Lee and Tardon were overseeing this, so they might walk in, uh, the masters. So, you know, Master Lee sometimes oversees training and even the beginner class for younger children such as yourself. Um, he basically walks in truly uh, and priest. Ryan? Yeah. Uh, how old am I in this? So, oh yeah, I feel like I skipped over that. It's basically like two years before the quest, or before you left the monastery. So, two years. I had six to be like 15, 16. How old are you in the campaign? Uh, I think I'm actually like 30. It's like, oh, really? I think so. I mean, that's what I remember. Um, so in this, I would say, mm, quite yet. I had to so, be like 15. Like, in this, I would say you're quite young. Um, this part is, you're probably like 10. Okay. So time will pass. Yeah. Later. So, um, so, well, yeah, continue. Yeah, no worries. <clears throat> yeah, so you're basically just training in this class, and, uh, you know, uh, the master gives you symbolic hand gesture with his knuckles together. <clears throat> Lee, 
who walks in to oversee your training and gives you this chant of Om, and the class will chant together, you know, Om. <laughs> um, so inside of the small sparring arena that basically they have inside of this monastery where you train. Um, oh, uh, Ryan, can we pause real quick? Yeah. Let's see. Uh, In the recording. Wait, did you have so, a Yeah, I do. Uh, so since I'm level zero, uh, is my HP actually 13? Or is it lower? Yeah, 13 is fine. 13? Okay. Yeah, you'd be fine. Uh, are my stats okay as well? Because these yeah. look like they are pretty high. Um, no, nah, they're okay. We'll just roll with them. Okay. Kind of make hobble shift, but it'll be okay. Hobble to yeah. hobble. Yeah, I'll just base it off it. It'll be fine. Yeah, that's cool. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm going to be sparring with uh, my master. Uh, I actually want to do like what I'm going to do is I'm going to like crouch down and do like a not a roundhouse but like I'm going to try to take out his legs. <laughs> All right, cool. So you're actually okay, you're not going to fight like the master right now, but <laughs> you are going to uh you know train under the supervision of the master momentarily. So and with some of the other monks. So actually you're gonna you're gonna fight against in this sparring match. Um I don't know, you basically have your choice. So there's there's all these peers who you've grown up uh kind of knowing a little bit about, you know, like I like I described before. There's a lot of uh young boys who look like you. Um and Basically, there's this one like skinny young girl elf and a couple other boys, like lighter skinned or darker skinned, but a few names. Uh, this uh, skinny girl is Aron. Uh, some of the other boys are Andrew, Kane, David, Elon, and Luke. And, uh, you know, there's these other, these three other older men there too. Not, not men, they're like a little bit older than you. Pon Pon and Kristan. So they're trainers along with Lee, who is the master who walks in. He's going to oversee uh, you. So I, you have the fight. opportunity to pick one. Yeah, sorry. Go ahead. I'm going to fight Pon Pon. Oh, so yeah. So the trainers, everyone's, you know, kind of taken aback. Oh, that you pick like one of the <laughs> trainers, one of the older like people in the room. He's, he's like a higher rank, you know. He's like actually a monk. Um, so Kristan is like Surprise as well, but he shortly bows to you while the others are still kind of like collecting their jaws off the floor. Uh, you guys make your way into the uh, into the little sparring match, and Pon uh, uh, Pon. What do you pick, Pon Pon? Yeah, I did. Pon Pon. You know, he definitely bows to you again. You know, he's got little chubby cheeks. Uh, he's much taller than you, um, so you kind of look up at him. But yeah. You, you know, you also know to take your place across from him and bow uh, before a sparring match. So there'll be a series of rolls, and basically the first one to take two hits is going to be the loser. So okay. He's going to be trying to dodge a lot and uh, just kind of, you know, use your forms as best as you can as you've learned them. You know, your tree pose, your various poses. And, uh, you know, going for those spicy attacks and those magnificent dodges, of course. Uh, is he my elder? Too as best you can. So, so yeah, Pon Pon's older than you. He's one of the trainers. Okay. Yeah. There's a couple other students who are watching along with the master and the other trainer, Kristan. So Lee's like, oh, what will happen in this magnor magnorious fight between these young people? <laughs> Let's find out. Pon Pon, begin the battle. Pon Pon, like, ah, oh, stamps his foot and kind of Does moves towards bow. you. No, he moves towards you. You guys already bowed, so he's coming in. He's going to try to you know, attack, but you guys need to roll initiative. Okay. Uh, can you give me just one second for this? Uh, yeah. I just left my dice in the other room. Oh, yeah. Go get your dice. I'll pause it real quick. Right. This gag. Ready for my gag now? I unpaused. Yeah. Here, Kyle, have this. It's a, it's a 
stand for your phone <laughs> so you can just set it there. I like it. <laughs> I wish I could hand it to you, but you're good. Yeah, no, you, circumstances, you're good. you know. <laughs> this is fun, though. I actually I feel like this video might be higher quality than my other videos. <laughs> I think so, too, actually. Despite all the stuff. Well, like your background right now yeah, that looks, nice. looks really good. But just the fact that, I mean, we have our own mics, but we have our own cameras and we have this other camera to spare. So, yeah, no, it looks good. It's kind of cool. I might try to have uh, other players. <laughs> yeah. Well, my face to face is fun, but I don't have a million cameras. Yeah, I think it looks good. <laughs> this seems but like yeah. a good opportunity. We'll continue with this. So, what was just happening? You're fighting. Against Pon Pon, your your elder, as yeah. he watches, and the other students. So, basically, uh, I'm gonna roll a hit. Both of you roll initiative, actually. Initiative, okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, can you actually? Uh, I roll a thirteen, but I think I have a plus two. For your initiative? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, so I think that's a 15. I'm going to say one, one stat I'll lower. You know, you got to go to plus one. Oh, yeah. For being I'm, level zero. Yeah. So, you're plus one, but you get a 14. So you're actually going to tie, which is a cool dynamic. We'll just see what happens. We'll just resolve <laughs> it with your other roll. You guys are both going to try to attack. So just contested attack. You know, this is fun. Right. I just uh, made this up. Should I roll I'm my D4 or my D6? I'll roll your D20 to hit. Oh, D20, okay. You're going to contest that, but he rolled well. He's coming in with a quick jab near your face with his, like, you know, open palm. Uh, You're a bit flustered for sure. Uh, I rolled a 17. That is great because I rolled a 19, see? And <laughs> wait, I don't even know an initiative. I'll just be initiative zero, so... Um, oh wait, this attack. So it is, yeah. So actually, another stipulation for this: you have to use your strength for your attack, and your dex. Oh shit! Sure. Like a dodge. Well, I can use my dex or my strength for a monk. Wait, what's your what's your difference in your modifiers? Uh, a plus one and a plus three. Uh, so I'm just gonna say you have to use your strength modifier just. As Why? Level zero. <laughs> well, but I'm a monk. Come well, on. You're level I can, zero. I can I'm use. Yeah. <laughs> I can use strength and dex. Come on. Um. I th I think for the purposes of this a smart sparring match at least. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I'll do strength. Okay. Yeah. So uh, so I'll I'll roll. Okay. But, wait. You. Wait. Oh yeah. You didn't roll yet. But no. I rolled high already, so it doesn't even matter. Well, it doesn't actually. Wait, but you just roll. You rolled a seventeen, but it's actually a fifteen. That's right. Uh, I rolled another fifteen. <laughs> nice. So he'll go in for the attack, but you're gonna make a dexterity dodge now. See if okay. you can dodge this. Uh, give me and one second. Okay. So we're going to do a dex real quick. That was literally like half a second. Okay, I paused it for like half a second. Yeah, so you do dodge. Ooh, okay. Dodge. So describe uh, how you dodge. If it's if it's above 15, you're going to no, win. No, it's a 19. Yeah, you win. Uh, and so that. what I do is as the monk monastery like master like tries to punch me, I am actually <laughs> going to like duck down and I'm gonna kick him in the chin. <laughs> yes. <Awesome. laughs> uh, sorry, I'm laughing while you're talking. I love your camera. You're like, ah. <laughs> As you're punching him. Oh, sorry. What did you do again? Tell me that. So sorry. I ducked his punch and I kicked him in yes. the chin. Yes. Going in for that kick. So go ahead and roll for your attack on that. Roll okay. D20. To hit. Uh. Ooh, ooh. I rolled a one. Ooh, so you're gonna not hit him. 
you want to you want to describe how you mess up in front of all your peers right now as you're fighting your elders like so as like i try to kick him as as i try to kick him uh i just totally like he like moves his chin like this and i just like go straight through the air and as like i do my full force i just miss (laughs) nice perfect (laughs) yeah he's kind of just like stands back a little bit and kind of he just gathers gives me like a stare down you know he will though uh try to go in for an attack kind of like sweep with his leg kind of does a 360 kind of uh but you should roll a contested dodge actually so roll to uh, do- your i don't know what that is so actually just make a dex roll uh sorry okay. for this your dex is just going to be your dodge and your so that's going to be Okay, uh, I'll roll that right now, okay? Uh, I got 12. Okay, so you guys tie, so... Uh, should we do like a combat, like, reverse? I'm just gonna have you make an attack. You, you can make like a counter attack. Okay, uh, I'll do that right now. Use your strength. Oh, <laughs> uh, I lose. Yeah, so he gets a hit on you. You take one yeah. hit. So if okay. you get hit again, you're gonna lose. Uh, let's see. Uh, give me one second. I've got tally. All right. All right. Perfect. Perfect. So um, yeah, I, I'm down to eleven right now. Or twelve. Okay. Sorry. No worries. And uh, it was kind of an implied armor class, but um, let's see. Well, what's his AC? Well, you have one as well. It's basically like 12 or so. Okay. Maybe you're all lower than 12. It's like you're not really going to hit. So yeah. To dodge. Um, and, but you, so he, he misses and you are going to, I see as you both kind of gather yourself again and you're just like facing each other, you can make your attack. Okay. Um, so with my attack, I feel like I'm actually going to do another like unarmed like punch, but I want to do a kick. Uh, I want to bring him down to the ground. So uh, I'm going to go for the legs again. Uh, so I'm going to go for the thighs. You see him like going up on into a tree pose. So it's optimal to just sweep his one leg as he's standing. Yeah. That's what I want to do. Balance. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, go ahead and roll for that. Okay. Let's see. The whole crass, the whole, the whole crass class is kind of just like freaking out right now as you recently got hit. They're like, Oh, you know, I got 16. So that's your attack, right? Yeah. So he'll have to try to and dodge, then, but he is not successful. So want to describe that? Uh, so as I roll to like uh, hit his legs, he's in the tree stand, and I just completely knock him out of like a balance, and I go down and I punch him right in the throat. Oh. And I'm I'm gonna roll for that right now, okay? Okay. Yeah, uh, roll so, for that. My 2d4, okay? Uh, roll. Yes, roll your. Uh, don't roll damage, actually. You hit him. Uh, he takes okay. one hit. I mean, you can roll damage, actually, if, you, if you're trying to like hurt him, but it's kind of a friendly sparring match. So you can no, it. I'm going straight for the throat, dude. He's straight going for, for the, the throat. throat. Roll yeah. for that. You can roll to deal damage to him. He's got HP. Ooh. I got six. Plus oh, wow. two. Four plus two. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that does a lot of damage. And, and, and he, I, oh! I, get my dub, I get my double shot. I get my double shot. <laughs> you, you do it. You double shot him. But that's that much damage you deal. And he kind of like, oh, as you punch <laughs> his throat again, he kind of coughs up some blood like right up near you. You want to try to dodge the blood. Yeah, I do. Definitely. You have that. You have Especially that. Uh, is that a D6? Or? Oh, I was like, 
Oh, oh. <laughs> um, to dodge, it's going to just roll a d20. D20? Okay. Yeah. Unless it's damage, you're basically going to roll. Uh, 16. Um, yeah, you dodge. You dodge the blood. Like to the side as the curl of blood just like falls back behind you onto the wood floor and you, and the pon pon is just like you kind of gets knocked unconscious momentarily it would seem as the class looks on at you in awe and terror ah. and Lee the master is like oh what turn of events is this <coughs> is he okay though um so. You know, some kids, actually, Kristan, the other the other trainer guy, older fellow, comes out to check on him, kind of pats his cheek, kind of slaps him a little bit, and he kind of wakes up like, oh, ah. He's like, Kristan looks over at you. He's a little bit uh, more slender trainer uh, with, like, dark, long hair, and he's like, you're the winner. <laughs> <laughs> I, I win! Picks him up and <laughs> hobbles him off to the corner of the uh, sparring arena there, and everyone's like, oh, are you okay? And he's like, Pon Pon's like, oh, you're, I feel fine. I feel better now. <laughs> Let me just uh, take some elixir, you know? Yes, Lee's like, from his back pocket, oh, do you see this elixir? Oh, wait, <laughs> I didn't grab it yet. This elixir will make you feel better, my friend. Pon Pon, you need this. Drink up, sir. He like chugs it down. It so. just pops the cap. Like, yep. Well, I'm very impressed by you, Triticor. Almost impressive as my muscles. <laughs> You'll go far one day, kid. You'll go far. Well, thank you, Master. You have trained me very well. Uh, I will take this experience and use it for future. Uh, troubles wonderful i shall tell the other masters about you but maybe take it easy next time on the uh the weaker bodied <laughs> and you can oh. still win <laughs> thank you master you have taught me very well of course that was the best fight i've seen in a long time <laughs> Yeah. Well, I have never experienced that in my entire life, and I will appreciate it for the rest of my training. Maybe one day we can battle. <sighs> Don't <Yeah>. punch me. <laughs> <laughs> Those are basically your adventures for that day. You know, on other days in the monkey monastery, you know, you study and read. And on one particular day, you read and learn about the old master Zenda who was able to fend off elves from the great city of Farleon and drive the armies back to give these lands a relative amount of peace by holding the 100-year war back to the Field of Spines, the desert land okay. to the west. He could move an entire army because of his will in nature was so powerful, which, which was a sentence with a typo in it. Um, yes. uh, how can I hold her back? What? What do you mean? Oh, hold them back. Sorry. Oh, yeah. That's you, you read about that in the book. You're like, oh yeah. Let me cross reference. Yeah, Zenda's like an old master. So, okay. Gave this land relative peace. They're kind of like. Uh, well, I want to protect the monastery. So or something like that. Yeah. Uh, I think I want to protect the monastery. Cool. Definitely. You're inspired by Zenda. Just like, I want to be like Zenda. The mm -hmm. old master. Because he could just move an entire army. So you're going to master Chi on that level. That's like your goal right now. Yeah. Just reading, just internalizing this goal. Just like. I kind of want to like, uh, is there a bridge that leads to it? Um, you don't know how to get there. Uh, basically, you're just in the monastery reading. And it's, it's info in this book. So, like, you can cross-reference some info if you want. Um, you could try to ask somebody, but you don't, like, know 
how to get there. Okay. Like uh, I want to find like the most like narrow point, you know, uh, that way that I can like defend the most people at the most like opportune time. Okay. I'm sorry. I think I confused you. Um, so no, you, you're safe. You're in the monastery reading about this war. So okay. That's all that happened. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. So no I worries. Was... You, you got really absorbed in this book you were reading and you were just like, Oh, I got to fend, fend off an army, <laughs> but it's cool. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. Uh, actually I wanted to go out and, uh, try to do like some, like, I don't know. Excuse uh, me. Just sort of like disciplinary I want or diplomatic I'm stuff. I'm sorry. I'm giving you a moment to like do stuff. I'm trying to fix my webcam. Not that it matters. Um, Actually, uh, Ryan, would this be a good time to pause for a minute? Yeah, we can pause for a second. All right. Uh, All right. <laughs> so where were we? Oh yeah, you were reading. Got really caught up in that book. Yeah. <laughs> did, yeah. Oops, in the monastery, yeah. Yes. That is the the word. So <laughs> basically, uh there is this cool experience that happens in the near future. Um you learn about this section of the monastery with basically this massive ocean contained within one of the buildings wall to wall behind a sheet of bluish bluish glass uh, the fish dance and a large red crabs uh, walk along the floor level with you and their small purple baby crabs follow them in trails there's large grassy plants and seaweed and a twisted bonsai wobbling uh, bubbles rise from where creatures have dug below the sand and the rocks below. And a monk above on a ledge on like a wooden platform pours a barrel of water into the enclosure. And Master Lorian says, the flow of the ocean is the yin. And what is often forgotten is that the flow is created by the swimming of the school of fish. He eyes each of you and continues. One could say that the yang is from every other element, the crabs, the monk who pours the water into sustain the, the tank, disrupting the flow and moving the rocks on the surface of the floor inside of this tiny ocean. Places Master. his hand against the glass. Yes. Master. How do I know what is true? How do I know what is going to be giving me these uh, transformations? You must search inside yourself to learn the key for all of life's mysteries. What is true might be the yin in the ocean on one day, but perhaps in a but century. what about the perhaps the yang? Perhaps the yang may be your truth for today. I cannot tell you these mysteries today, my young pupil, but maybe you can tell me. Well, I will meditate on this and I will try to figure out the answers for both, not just you, but me as well. Yes, well. Do you have any thoughts on the matter at the moment? I think that uh, I need to meditate on this, honestly. Uh, I have no real true truth answer. Uh, I feel like if you and I can consolidate, we might be able to come up with an answer. On what is true. Perhaps we could meditate for a moment before our discussion begins. So if we meditate, do you think that we actually will come with the answer? Mm -hmm. he you are the beard. wise master. Uh, I trust your answer 
over anybody else. Meditation can be many things to many people. Today, it may help us find the answer if we speak our minds as we ponder. Should we uh, seek out the masters of the monastery and see if they can help us with this as well? Mm, yes. The masters may be able to help, but I think the grand master and a wise young monk such as yourself should be able to discern the meaning of life in no less than an hour. Well, I think that we should see our masters and see what they can give us. If anything, it's an answer. If anything, it's not. I feel like it is a wise decision to actually go seek out the, the, sorry, uh, the history and the knowledge of anybody that is our elder. He strokes his long gray beard and kind of ponders for a moment. My master, yes. And I'll have you make a make a wisdom check. Okay. Uh, give me one second. All right. Uh, twelve. You you passed. All right. So basically, uh, as you watch him kind of stroking his long beard and pondering a, a who who his elder is that you could meet uh you do uh know that uh this is actually master lorian who you've uh seen a few times strange with he's lee's master he's actually the headmaster of okay the place he's telling you all about the yin and yang of the ocean right now and there's this giant tank of just like eels and fish and crabs and seaweed behind him and like an aquarium and uh, uh can i approach him like in a very like respectful way i want to like okay. almost like bow yeah well you guys are already talking basically but you can bow okay i want to do that i want to show respect you know definitely yeah do you want to look okay. your bow I'm going to have you roll for how impressive <laughs> Yeah, it is. I will. Actually, you have to use your honor stat on this one, too. Roll both. Really? Okay. Roll, just uh, roll for your bow, which is going to be, you know, you can use dexterity. It's a plus zero. Well, plus for dex. For dex, you have plus three. You can roll back. Well, for honor, I have a plus zero, but let's see. Actually, you could uh, maybe save off on the honor. Roll the dexterity for now. I was okay. getting a little too hasty there. Uh, 16. Um, that will, yeah, that'll work. Your bow is like really, really pretty good. Like technically he's like super impressed, you know, he's like, oh yeah, he actually does want to meditate and find the answer of life, but he's still, you know, stroking his beard. Like who is my master we could meet? He says, well, I could show you to an elder of the land but perhaps please master please master show me to the greatest wisest most extraordinary person that you know i believe i shall in time my student for today though i think we should ponder the meaning of life and your question in order to present him and impress him Show him that we are earnest in our desires to know. What do I have to do to make sure that I am an honest and earnest person to make sure that I can make, meet this master? I think in meditating today, we should be able to impress him enough if we are very successful. I would love to do that. I just want yeah. to meet this master. Ask again for the class your question. It kind of gathers the students around. It says, we will meditate and ponder. I gather around all the students. I put them in a circle all around me. And I gather them 
and I say, you are the most wisest and most, uh, who does it, uh, guaranteed to actually like see the actual master. What can I do to make sure that I am as well as worthy? So are you, are you asking the class or are you asking the master right now? I'm asking the class. Um, let's see here. So yeah, basically the whole class, uh, you know, they kind of seem to be meditating for a while. Mm -hmm. You watch them. Uh, a couple of them like kind of look around like confused. And, uh, you know, the master beside you Morian, who's this very old gray, the headmaster of the uh, whole monastery, he, like gives out his old, uh, very large ohm with you, and kind of encourages you to join him in this in this chant. Om. Okay. Yeah, I join in the ohm. Yeah. You want you want to do it? Yeah. Om. Um, close your eyes and meditate. Om. Om. Ask your oh. question for the class. Again. What can I do to make sure that I can meet the master? You guys are the best guidance that I have right now. Your leader, your master, they have not helped me out as much as you can. So I ask you again, please guide me in the ways of answering the questions that I have. And uh, actually kind of a surprise, one of the first times you've actually heard this girl speak out um, of her own accord, this skinny uh, girl with the pointy ears are on. Uh, she kind of stands up and says like, but you're with the greatest master of the monastery now. You can ask him anything you want. Why would you seek a master higher than Lori. So uh, no. actually, I turn around right now and I face the teacher of the class. And I bow to him. Or they. I don't know. Yeah, he's, you know, he's this old guy who's basically been with you the whole time. He's now stroking his beard again. And he's like, he, you know, he doesn't do much. He's somewhat shocked. He just stands there. Uh, no, I bow. I bow hard. I bow like I've never bowed before. And I give him all my gratitude, all my faith, all everything. So he says, perhaps it is time for this lesson. And he pulls out this pearl from like under his robes. It's this very large pearl. It looks very heavy. It is this white glimmering glossy pearl kind of as if from a giant clam you imagine might live in this aquarium behind you and he says as i said everything can be the yang even this pearl and he like oh hefts it and throws it up above the glassy wall and up into the pond of this aquarium behind him and it splashes down and falls down amongst the school of fish who like scatter and it falls into the do the dust there and he says um whoever can return this pearl shall be recognized as the winner of this magnificent meditation uh i want to race all the children right now uh but not like harm them in any way. Uh, I want to push them out of the way. And I am, my main goal is to get the pearl, but not to hurt anybody. Yeah, definitely. So you, I'd say, leap up before any other child and run towards the glassy aquarium. Uh, everyone else is kind of like very startled and like, what are you, what's going on? But you are running towards the aquarium and, you know, what are you going to do? Uh, I want to do like a straight up like leap, 
right into the water. Uh, but I'm going to push every single child out of the way. Uh, I'm not going to hurt them. Yeah, whatsoever. no one's in the way. I mean, you can yeah, no. out of there. But then, wait, what are you doing? Uh, okay. So I, I'm pushing the children out of the way. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And I am the doing <laughs> like a swan dive almost. Like okay. I'm just jumping in. <laughs> so you got to try to climb up. It's like a kind of a high wall. It's like maybe 10 feet. You it can is? just climb okay. up real quick and then... I'd say okay, if you like so, run up um, the wall, so make a deck save. I mean, you could try. I mean, yeah, let's make a see. dex check rather, and you could see. Uh, uh, fourteen. Yeah, so I'll say you're not able to jump high enough. Like you can almost get high enough just trying to swan dive from the ground. Yeah. I don't know. You could probably try to scale this glassy wall you know there's a way i i think I there's a monk up, up above before but yeah you could try to run yeah. up the glass it's doable i want to run up a bit yeah make that dex check okay let's see Ooh. You fall down on your back and all students are like oh <laughs> right that's what happens right i got a three <laughs> Yeah, that's what happens. Make a deck save, actually. Okay, let's see. Ooh, okay. Uh, 20. Okay, yeah, not, you, you know, you land natural. on your feet, so you do the, the fancy spin land on your feet. If you want to describe that, you're okay. It's fine. Okay, you almost so, died, but um, it's okay now. As I run up the glass and try to get into the tank, I actually slip, and I fall down, and I just land perfectly on my feet. Like a twenty out of twenty, you know. Heck yeah, that was amazing. And uh, a couple of the other students kind of begin to walk up towards you. A couple of them are like, "Oh, whoa, you're okay. You're amazing." Um, but they're like, "We have to get that pearl." Uh, so what I actually end up doing is I grab some of the students. And I force them to swim. So I'm actually going to throw some of these students into the water. Okay. Yeah, for sure. So, yeah, I'll just uh, I'll say there's a couple students there, you know, like Lee, Luke, Luke rather, and Elon, uh, mm -hmm. which is like a darker boy and uh, this uh, lighter boy. Uh, they're like... Uh, you, Are they like, struggling? Chuck me, chuck me over, says Elon. It's like, I would like to swim. Boost me up. Okay. Uh, I, yes. I throw them. I make, throw you, them. make a dex check. Do another one. <laughs> or strength. Yeah, I do. Actually, use strength this time. Strength? Uh, that's a D8. So. Wait, no. You'd get a D20, but it's plus one, I believe you said. Uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, plus one, yeah. So, uh, 13. All right, that'll do it. Yeah, so you boost him up and he like grabs onto the edge of this glass up above and hoists himself up into the, the aquarium. He falls down and, you know, these orange fish start kind of sucking on his toes maybe a little bit and they scatter <laughs> apart. He's like, ah, oh, the water's kind of warm. Uh. And you see it through this greenish green glass. There's like moss all over the glass as he kicks his foot up against it, leaving an imprint. You can see more clearly past uh, his toes. Um, am I startled at all, or am I frightened? You're not startled, but um, uh, so the boy who jumped in, uh, he's kind of just like ah, oh, he's kind of uh, floundering near the top of the water now. So okay, um. I want to rescue him, uh, so I jump in. Yeah, so this other boy right next to you is like, I'll boost you up. Go go save him. Uh, so, no, I jump in, and I do, like, a frantic, like, rescue. Uh, I see that this boy is struggling, and that there's blood all over the floor, or the uh, water. And the other boy is trying to help me up, but... I am struggling to get them up, I feel like. All right, go ahead and roll. Uh, do a strength roll. Okay. 
Let's see. Uh, 13. Okay. Yeah, I think that'll do it. So I'll say you're able to, you know, kind of manage to pull him away and get him to a place where you could get him back over the glass if you'd like. Like, you can drop him so down to the other So what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to, like, try to, like, roll him over with my legs, actually. Uh, I'm not going to use my arms at all. Uh, so I'm going to try to throw him over and make sure that he is safe. Yeah. And I want to stay in the water. You succeed. Yeah, you, you chuck him with your feet, almost harnessing the key that's in this, in this water, this aquarium. It seems to mm -hmm. enhance your power. And so you chuck him with your feet off to safety. You see uh, Luke and Elon down below. They're like helping, helping each other and uh, getting him to safety. He seems to be perfectly okay. So uh, uh, I you're in the dive. tank, though. I, yeah. I want to dive. I want to figure out what's going on. Can oh, I yes. uh, solve this mystery? Can I like dive down and just like risk my life? Yeah, just give me a, you know, like a swimming check, which will be a D20 and you just tell me, you, know, you can use your, All right. um, you can use your dexterity there. Yeah, I'm going to use my dex. Uh, 14. Nice. So that's really good. So you go down in there, you're, you're able to open your eyes and like see the school of fish and this strange eel and all this grass below you, you, you are able to work your way through and you see the large pearl down below and you're almost there, but uh, you have to hold your breath. Uh, uh, that's a D4, isn't it? Um, a D4 to hold your breath? Yeah. That sounds like a real rule to me. I'm not going to say that's not a real rule. That's cool. Roll the D4. I think it's a D4. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I'm down. I that, like that. Uh, D4 that's four for seconds. Your breath. Four seconds. You rolled a four. <laughs> you rolled a one. I, no, I rolled a two. You rolled a two. So yeah. Two seconds. Yeah. So it's like you're almost there, right? It's like ah, uh, but the pearl. You're able to grab it, but it's a big pearl. It's like the size of like something big. It's like the size. It's bigger than like your head. It's like a heavy pearl. Like. You're surprised the master. How big is able. it? You're surprised it's like four, able. or five pounds, six pounds. So I'm imagining like it's like the size of your skull, basically. Shit, six, seven pounds. That's a big pearl. Yeah. <laughs> you, okay. Like, it's too heavy, and you're out of breath, so you have to go to the surface real quick. <sighs> okay, Brian, so I hurry make... and I rush up. I want to go back down though. I want to do another yeah, dive. Just try to. Just Can I do another dive? dive? Yeah, you can. Um, another D four? No, Dex thirty. Dex, okay. Uh, holding your ooh, breath comes later. <laughs> Seventeen. Yes. So yeah, he's, he's <laughs> able to find the pearl again for sure, and uh, you know I think you find it a little faster. So you're able to grab it. So you can either make I'm going to say like a strength check to try to save this, okay. or you can do that breath holding thing. That'll be well, like dexterity. I can do a strength or a dex, like since I'm a monk. So you can do you can do a strength check with a d20, or you could do a hold your breath with the d4. Ooh. Yep. Which one? D d20. D20. Hey, strength. Yeah. Go for that. <laughs> that's better, actually. That's, that twenty. Be twenty. So you get the pearl, and I'm going to say that you are holding it in your hands, right? And you're able to swim up, jump out of the water, and land on, like, the edge of the glass perfectly, you know, unharmed. Okay. You're fine. And you're, like, holding the pearl. So, you know, you can jump down at this point. You can do whatever you want. You've got the pearl. You might be like, huh. Uh, so what I'm going to do, Lauren? I'm going to grab the pearl and throw it on the boat. You know, just, like, just toss it. Or oh, just where? land. Throw it to you know? land? You can yeah. throw it down. I mean, there's like school children down there, and I don't care. And I'm <laughs> diving again. Diving again, yeah. So yeah. Well, how exactly do you, you throw it like behind you? Throw it over your head? Is that? You uh, do? I just kind of like toss it right above me, <laughs> and then I just go Camera straight angles. back down. I want to see what else is down there. Okay. Yeah, do it. 
So yeah, the pearl, you know, quickly thuds down below. Ah, below, what's going on? <laughs> He's like, you've done it. Oh, oh, and then you dive back in, and you're gonna, you know, you're doing your decks for your dive, I assume. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, do that. So let's see. You know, the water's so warm happens. and green and green. Beautiful, Fuck darling. that. It, uh, it, it looks 17. Good. It looks, it looks 17. Pristine, green, blue, and vibrant. What? 17. 17. So, yeah, you go down there and you're looking around. You know, there's these massive eels and orange fish. Uh, there's googly eyed versions <laughs> down below in the seaweed. And, these various types of grass just swaying up beside you. And uh, yeah, there's, there seems to be like, it kind of goes back a bit. There's like some caves back there, like maybe some caverns, some large rocks that form an arch where there's like some scuttlefish down below. And uh, I don't know, what, what are you trying to do? Uh, just searching for more treasure, actually. Uh, I'm not looking to like save anybody right now. For sure. I'll have you make a perception check, I guess. Okay. Uh, give me one sec. Let's see. Uh, 15. Um, let's see here. Yeah. I'm going to say you kind of see down in the seaweed some shimmering gold glints of something and uh like ooh, i really need to investigate this swimming down further yeah can i uh do an investigation check um i'm just gonna say yeah actually you just like move some grass and there's like this chest like it's a very large chest mm -hmm. and uh it seems like it might be locked with like this golden lock but there's a chest right there under the grass with all these fish uh, above you. Can I bring it up with me, at least uh, to the surface? So I'll have Maybe... you strength check. Okay. Let's see. Uh, I got a seven. So yeah, it's like, oh, stuck under the sand. You're not sure if it's like just so heavy or if it's stuck beneath these like hard sandy walls around Can it. I do a dex check? I could, yeah, I'd say you could try to like kick it, kind of wobble it. Yeah, through. I'm gonna do a dex real quick, okay? Yeah. Uh, I got eleven. Yes. Um. So yeah, I'd say your kick kind of seems to maybe dislodge it a little bit. So I'll have you make another strength check to see if you're able to to carry it now. uh 11 again 11 again but this time it works because it's yeah better than your other strength check so yeah i'd say you're able to kind of uh lift this chest up a bit I mean, there seems to be some air in it now that it's free from the sand sandy walls below and uh you know you're kind of midway up uh in the water uh, from the surface and the bottom so um you know i'm gonna have you make try to try to hold your breath that d4 See if you can carry it all the way up or what. Okay. So all the way up? D4. Yep. A D4, okay. It's kind of heavy chest. You're kind of oh, struggling to carry this. <laughs> well, let's see. Dude, I got a five. How do you get a I five a on four. a D4? Well, I have the four plus one. Plus one for what? Okay. No, D4. Are you using your attack stats or what are you using? I'm using my stats, yeah. I thought my uh, my wisdom added to it. But, I mean, it's a D4. That makes perfect sense. I love this D4 rule. No, it's, that's what it is. I mean, obviously, you rolled five. So, it's yeah. wisdom-based. And it's holding your breath. So, yeah. You're able to carry this chest, like, up to the surface. And kind of stabilizes at that point. You can kind of carry it about a little bit um as you're on the surface of the pond now and it goes back and there's actually this cavernous wall above you you can see like this wooden little dock off to the side where this monk you know you remember him pouring some water in um and then on the far side there's 
like the glassy edge where the other students were. Yeah. So uh, are they all like waiting for the carriage or the the chest? <laughs> um, like you can't really see them actually at this point. You're like kind of far back into the pond. It's kind of hard to see that far through the water. And they're actually down below the edge of the tank. So uh, can you we can see them down up? there. Can we swim up and actually see it and see what is like containing within the chest? Um, so wait, that was like two things. You want to swim over to the edge of the glass or you want to try to open the chest? I want to open the chest. Both? Okay. Yeah. You're just in the middle of the water right now, but that's fine. I'm trying to open it. So, um, I mean, it's locked. Can't can't open it immediately but I mean, do we have like a lock pick or anything uh you you don't have a lock pick on you but uh, you might be able hmm. to find one somewhere uh can i search for one i want to open up the chest um so i mean you, you know you don't see one anywhere around i mean maybe you could try to swim and find one uh, it seems <laughs> unlikely or you could yeah, go no. save the chest and find one later. Uh, let's save the chest. Uh, let's make it like our like treasure, you know? You're going to try to chuck it down at the students again? Like, have a chest yeah. now. <laughs> <laughs> and take that pearl too. And this fish. <laughs> no, no. I want to save it. I want to save it hard. Well, you have to. I mean, what, you got to take it back, right? Or you uh, no. Save it I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna leave it there. I'm a pirate. Come on. All right. Um, I mean, if you want to try to search for a lockpick, I'll have you roll a perception check real quick. Okay. Uh, give me one sec. I think that's actually a, quite a valid idea. <laughs> a seven. You know, you see, like, there's this underwater fake pagoda statue and like some sucker fish <laughs> over by it but yeah it's no lock picks down there can i just like be like brutal and just like kick it you can kick it i'll have you do strength okay one second Ooh. but you have disadvantage because you're underwater roll again uh, take the low one well you're like okay. in water yeah. Ooh. Okay. Did you roll a one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Disadvantage strikes again. Um, so yeah, you, you kind of stub your toe, you know, maybe your nail starts bleeding. Like, oh, that hurts. Ah! Maybe take like one point of damage. It doesn't matter that much though. You don't need to know that. Um, you kind of drop the chest for a second. Make a deck save. You can try to save it if you want. Okay, I will. Let's see. Ooh, okay. Uh, 17. Yeah, so you're able to grab the chest again, bring it back up to the surface real quick, and you can try to take this back to the edge of the pond. There's like the dock. There's down below where you were standing initially with the class. Uh, I want to take it to the, the shore. Yeah, uh, yeah. So there's the dock. Um, I mean, there's like a little platform. Uh, I don't want anybody to see it. Um, you can try to make a stealth, but uh, the dock seems like your best bet. There's nobody up there. Okay. Uh, can I tie it to like a tether and just hang it below the dock? I would say there's, yeah, there's like a rope at the dock you can tie it to. Okay. Uh, I'm going to roll a D8 for that, okay? <laughs> Why are you rolling a D8? I'm so confused. Well, should I do a D4 or a D12? <laughs> you don't need to roll. You can tie it. It's fine. Okay, can I? Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna tie it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you'll. Tie I just it. want you're, a success or non. You're a pretty good Boy Scout. Yeah, <laughs> you win. Thanks. And uh, so yeah, I do tie it, and uh, I also want to get a boat for me and my crew. You have trained because the tying of the knot is like. The forms of yoga so you learn okay well i just want to make sure that like me and my crew can actually get through the the salty sp 
uh, C or what's the C that you called? Um, eh, it's not like a C. It's like a, it's like an indoor aquarium almost, but it seems to go back into the cliffs or something. Okay. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure that uh, we can get through like all of our seas. Yeah, there's no ships in it. It's not that big. This like top section of water goes back into this rocky cliff on the one side. And yeah. there's no boats or anything. Just like okay. an aquarium. Well, I just wanted to make sure that like my party and I can get by, you know. <laughs> Sorry. Your classmates? <laughs> no, my roommates, yeah. Oh, I mean your party. Your party is your classmates. Oh, yeah, my party, yeah. Or one day when you meet or your party. <laughs> I don't know. You're all alone, man. You don't have a party. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, are you guys doing okay? There's no boats. Uh, yeah. yeah. All right, cool. We'll play again soon. I just wanted to test out the uh, audio. Yeah, the Zoom was kind of interesting, huh? It was kind of cool. We could do this again and have more, more party members easily. Yeah, I think it's a good idea. Uh, my friend uh, Nick actually has been doing a lot of online uh, D&D. Nice. So it might be something to try out. Heck yeah, yeah, this is super fun. Um, well, let's see. Yeah, I'd say you tether that chest there and, uh, you know, you return, return the, the pearl. And it's just another successful day of, you know, the life of Tredicor. <laughs> Classic, just like crazy, craziest monk in the monastery. Just young boy. Uh, like, I going am on crazy. Just like yeah. <laughs> tearing it up in the aquarium. This one was called uh, Tredicor and the Crazy Aquarium. Or something. Well, like I liked it. I don't like it was the word good. crazy. Yeah, no, that was good. Uh, it works. Let's well, see. thank you, Ryan. I don't know if there's, I don't know if there's other adventures or if you want to uh, call it a night. But uh, uh, I'm gonna call it a night just because yeah. it's been a day. Yeah, dude, it's been real. Thanks for playing. Yeah. This, no, fun. thank you. Yeah, You're hope- my favorite DM ever. Oh, thanks. <laughs> well, hopefully this inspires your character just a little bit more. You're just like, oh, wow, my past. I remember yeah. in a dream. No, I like it a lot. <laughs> uh, I, I appreciate you, and thank you for uh, being the DM. Heck, yeah. I'm just going to make this note, like, got chest. Head. Oh, that. So, uh, are you gonna post this on uh, YouTube as well? Uh, I'm just recording it, but yeah, if you if you're down, um, I'll show you the video too. Yeah, I, I would it. like that. Yeah, I don't have Photoshop right now, but uh, well, because you have like multiple of our uh, episodes already uploaded, right? Uh, yeah, for sure. I've got several. I've got to upload like the last two that we did and this one. Well, I mean, I think this one would be fun just because it would be like a different like platform, you know? Yeah, this one's this one will be high quality, I think. I can just upload this real quick because it'll be <clears throat> saved. I'll send it to you and see how it looks and I can edit it. Yeah. And... Yeah, send it to me. I want to see it so bad. So, yeah. Yeah, you might even be able to save it from this meeting too. So, we'll see. If not, I will send it to you regardless. And, uh, <laughs> have a good night. Thanks for playing. Yeah, thanks, Ryan. I appreciate you. Yeah.